welcome back, I'm David Mustard and this week I have traveled about three and a half hours north of London up to the Norfolk coast. You might remember that I was in this area a couple of months ago to visit Shangri-La, such a gorgeous home. This time I have ventured a bit east from that and I made my way to Blackwood. This home is a huge black holiday home filled with great design on the outside and on the inside. This place is extraordinary and after watching this video you will definitely want to book a couple of nights stay here. I'll leave a link below to the listing so that you can have a look. The area around here is absolutely stunning and it is actually a designated area of outstanding natural beauty. And there's loads of picturesque little English villages with pubs, restaurants, artisanal shops, cafes, antique shops and everything you will need for your stay. Now this is a two floor, three bedroom home of 1850 square feet and it sleeps six people. So this place is big. Probably the biggest holiday home I have visited on this channel so far. The house is set within its own private area in the middle of a forest but is still within walking distance to an expansive beach which stretches all along the North Norfolk coast. The home got its name Blackwood because of the heavily charred Akoya which clads the outside of this home. It was finished just in 2020 and was previously an old workshop and garage which the owners clearly did a lot of work on to get to this point. Now let's have a look at the outside of this property. When you first arrive you go through these beautiful electric wood gates with these stone pillars on the side. Once you're through the gates there is parking for up to three cars and they have a charging port for electric vehicles as well. And then you just follow the gravel path with these lights on the side that guide you up to the house. And this place is just dreamlike. The house soon comes into view and it kind of towers over you because it is big and it both fits in with the surroundings at the same time as being a stark contrast to the grass and the woods around it. Now on the right side of the house there you find the patio with two sets of tables and chairs and large floor to ceiling windows that open up completely from the main bedroom and the living room for that indoor outdoor living. A bit too cold in December when I'm here but I'm sure it works well the rest of the year. A bit further away from the house you find the fire pit and barbecue area nestled among the trees. I can just imagine how cozy this is in the evenings with the light from the fire and the house around this light stone gravel pit. This is a complete luxury experience. And then on the other side of the house we find the entrance to the house. So let's go inside. By the way, if you want to see more house tours on this channel, you should definitely subscribe and leave a little like, that really helps and we will soon have more videos for you. And let us know what kind of places you want us to show. We do already have a bunch of home tours on this channel. You should definitely check out my visit to Shangri-La a couple of months ago, that was a great one. We'll leave links below so you can check that out as well. So let's take a look at the inside of the house. The front door is just on the side of the house at this extension here and it's a full glass door to bring in maximum amount of light and so that you also see that beautiful contrast between the white interiors and the black exteriors and it's covered by an extended roof that covers the beautiful wood floor here on the outside. Now we step through that door and it's greeted by the light hallway and why is it light? Well, there is a massive skylight here right above us covering the whole of the boot room right here. This is just another amazing detail in this house. Everywhere you turn, this house kind of says to every other house, I am better than you. Right in front of us now, you have plenty of space for your outdoor clothes and right next to the closets there's a bench where you can sit down to put on or take off your boots. Now let's continue to our right where we can see the kitchen at the end and right here on our left are the stairs up to the top floor where you will find several more bedrooms as well. And on our right here we have this beautiful shelving system for some cups and glasses and just through the opening next to it we have the main bedroom. This is a double bedroom with a super king sized bed with floor to ceiling glass doors which takes you straight out onto the patio and the garden. And just opposite the bedroom there is a bathroom with a freestanding bathtub which is on a raised platform in the same material as the floor. And if you have a look at the sink in here it's built seamlessly into the wall in the same color and material with these matte black faucets and pipes. Now back out towards the kitchen. 
but first you have plenty more built-in storage underneath the stairs. It's again so seamlessly integrated. And the floors on the ground floor are all light grey concrete that matches great with the white walls and the wood interiors. The kitchen is fully equipped and has everything you need. Fridge, freezer, stove, oven, and the kitchen is made in this light beech wood with a window just above the sink out to the garden. And there's two faucets for the sink, one for hot and one for cold water. Very classic British. Something that you see a lot in old cottages or converted barns here in England are large, bold, exposed beams across the ceiling. Here they have taken inspiration from that but instead just made the beams very fine and in white so you still get the cottage vibe but just a lot more subtle. From here we move straight into the open plan living room and dining area. On our left is the dining area with a large table with three chairs and with a bench that wraps all along the wall. So you can comfortably sit probably eight people here. And right behind us is the living room area with a sofa and two chairs. I think these are called safari chairs and it's all centered around this fireplace that keeps you warm during the colder months like now. There's also this long bench all along the wall that's completely integrated into the wall. It just looks so good. Here there's also another two floor to ceiling double glass doors that you can open up completely and take you straight out into the garden. Now let's go back to the hallway and up the stairs to have a look at the two remaining bedrooms upstairs. Up here we are met by the slanted roof but it still doesn't feel cramped at all. The ceilings are still tall and there's windows everywhere and bright white walls and a pale wood floor throughout. Let's start with the second super king bedroom which is a good size and has double doors that you can open up with a view of the woodlands. There's also an ensuite shower room with toilet in here and it just looks amazing. This is like super well made and really great design all of this. There's also plenty of storage space for your bags and clothes in here as well. And the last bedroom is similar, also a double bed that can be converted into two twin beds. And same as with the last bedroom, there's an ensuite shower room here as well. Anyway, now I think that's it for this tour of Blackwood. I will leave a link below and if you're interested in booking this, just click the link and have a look if there's any availability when you're ready to visit. Now let me know what your favorite part of this home is. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We have a lot more house tours booked in for you to see. So let me know what you want to watch. Luxury apartments, holiday rentals, something else, let me know. And don't forget to leave a little like on the video, that's always very helpful. Thanks for hanging out today and see you soon. Bye-bye.